guys head on the road to face Michigan State and Indianapolis. What kind of, I guess, improvements do you think you guys need to make as a team heading into that one? Uh, we're giving up too many offensive rebounds and we're not getting enough offensive rebounds. Uh, we got to play more physical. Uh, me personally, I got to be more physical. I got to be better. Uh, going into this next game versus Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State, right? Michigan yes. State. Did I say Michigan? Uh, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> it's going to be a rough one. Uh, they are a physical team, so we need a... Um, we need a punch first, so that's what we're gonna work on, just being physical, uh, grabbing rebounds, and just doing all the dirty work. How nice was it having Severe back out there? Very nice. Uh, he speeds the game up for us. Uh, um, it makes it a lot easier for us as a whole because he could get downhill, um, dish, it, dish it out to our shooters who can make shots, and just, he looks for the open guy, so it's definitely um, enjoyable for him to be back. What can you say about this team's depth and just how many options you guys have? We have a lot of depth. Um, as you can see, a dude didn't play today, but he's a really good player. Um, he's still learning how to um, fit in and uh, find a role. But um, overall, I think we have a really good group of guys who's going to be ready when their time comes. What, what can you say, how to say about Ugo and just kind of how quickly he's grasped everything, really? He's doing a great job for us. Um, obviously, he still has some learning to do, but him being able to come into the game and affect it, uh, affect the game um, uh, positively uh, by blocking shots is very good for us because now a lot of guards are scared to go down the lane because they know he's blocking shots. He's even blocking bigs when they try to muscle him. So it's definitely good for him, and it's good for us. The Duquesne uh, head coach said that he's going to be making a lot of money really soon. Can, can you uh, confirm that? Yeah, he will be. What adjustments did you guys make at halftime? Uh, we just didn't have a lot of energy in the first half, uh, but we found our way. Um, we picked up the energy a little bit. Uh, we started playing at our own pace, and they were kind of speeding us up in the first half, but we kind of figured it out, and we just played our brand of basketball. Does that just come with it being early in the season and kind of still learning to mesh and play together, or what do you think leads to that? Yeah, it's early in the season. It's the second game of the season. Uh, you can say we had exhibition games. You could say we played in the Bahamas. But um, as the season goes on, uh, we'll get better with each other. We'll learn uh, who does what well and who doesn't. So as the season goes on, we'll be a lot better. Um, it's just the second game, like I said. So there's always room for improvement. Jay, what, what do you think the Michigan State game is going to tell you about this team? It's going to tell us a lot, honestly. Um, it's going to be a really physical game, so we're going to see who's going to be able to play in a physical game. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to play our brand of basketball. We're going to do what we do best, and that's run the floor. Uh, we need to um, grab rebounds, though. Offensively and defensively, we got to grab more rebounds. we got to be more physical um, in the paint. So we'll see how it is uh, when we play them. Duquesne you played pretty hard-nosed tonight. Do you feel like this game tonight is going to prepare you a little bit more for Tuesday? I mean, I feel like every game prepares us for the next. Uh, obviously, we're going to go back, watch film, see what we can improve on and improve on that before the Michigan State game. Do you feel, do you feel like this is a more physical team than maybe the ones you played on in the past here? Um, or are we going to find out Tuesday? I want to say it's a more physical. I'm, I'm not here to compare teams, but we definitely have a group that can be physical. We have a group that um, can do all the dirty work and it's shown in some players. Um, so this is a really good test for us uh, Tuesday. What's been the most pleasing thing about these two games? You know, I guess either from your play or what you've seen from your teammates. Um, the most pleasing thing is probably winning. Definitely winning in games, but uh, definitely having our shooters shoot the ball and make shots. Uh, we have a lot of guys making shots right now. Um, personally, I gotta be, I gotta be better. Uh, um, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna figure it out. I put in the work, so I need to be able to understand that I put in the work and just fall back on the work. So I'm definitely gonna be better. Um, and if I'm not better, it's not gonna do us any good. So I'm definitely gonna prepare uh, for Tuesday and just move forward with it. Yeah, I think Kyle was saying he was maybe seeing if Livingston was gonna get a little more minutes, but he wanted to kind of see how you would go through some of those struggles today. Do you appreciate that from him? And I know you said you're not really sure what it was, but how was it? When things were a little down early on in the game tonight. Yeah, I appreciate that. Just shows he uh, trusts me. He um, 
He's a, he's a great coach. Um, he's going to help us in any way. But at the end of the day, when you step on that court, it's it's you versus you. And I understand that. And I understand that I'm in my own head. Uh, I put in the work. I can make shots. I can be effective on both ends of the floor. And even today, I was a step behind defensively. So I don't know what it is, but um, obviously, I'm a person who likes to improve. So I'm going to watch film on myself. Uh, see what I can do better and just move forward. I'm sure you've been asked this already, but Ugana's play, has it exceeded expectations? And what is it like just to see him through these first two games, but also going back to the scrimmage games as well? Yeah, it, it's good for him. Uh, having Oscar out, obviously we want Oscar back, but having him out, um, he got his opportunity. Uh, coach always says next man up, and he's um, been able to stand up and be effective for us uh, by blocking shots, grabbing rebounds, finishing around the rim. So he's definitely a good factor for this team. How pumped up do you guys get when you have two guards now on the floor that you saw with Sabir and Kaysen both just getting after it? Uh, that's a great two-guard combo right there. Um, I don't think anyone beats that. Uh, they're really good together, um, and both of them could play the point. So um, Sabir could be off the ball. Uh, could be, Kaysen could be off the ball. So um, it's really good for us, and it's really good for both of them. How do you think Antonio and CJ complement each other, scoring on the wing? It's going to be very hard for teams to stop both of them, honestly. Um, you can stop one, but you're not stopping both, and uh, that's really good for us. So if one has it going, then we're going to feed them. If the other has it going, then we're going to feed that person. But if they both have, have it going, it's going to be really hard to beat us. Uh, they're really good shooters, and they're really good at finding their own shots. So they complement each other well. With your teammates again in a regular season game. Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Just happy to play basketball again. You know, um, you know, for real this time. You know, with, with, you know, it counts on the record books. We we'll get back in front of our our great fans. Um, and just to get another W in the, in the W column was great. You and Case and uh, playing out there together is quite a duo at times. He almost had triple double last game. You were kind of getting close to this game. What's it like playing with Kaysen at times? Yeah, it makes the game way easier um, on both ends. You know, offense, uh, just him have he can be that primary ball handler as well. Like I don't have to always come back and get it. You know, he can guy he can initiate. He can create plays for himself and, and others. And um, defensively, I mean, that kind of speaks for itself. I mean, we're probably two of the premier elite on ball defenders um, in the country. And uh, we know we try to try to guard. And um, you know we complement each other in that way. We're both athletic. We got the speed. And um, ultimately, we make each other better, better, and we make our teammates better. What's How impressive for you guys is when you got the big freshman seven footer <clears throat> behind you? And you. Oh, that's crazy. Well, go ahead. Now you got got to go by me and Kaysen <laughs> and everybody else, and we're gonna funnel you down there. So that's big time. And um, you know, Coach Cal always talked about that. His teams that were successful. Um, we have shot blocking presence. So when he's back there, when Damien gets back there, um, when gets when he gets back, all that's gonna be that's gonna be hard for teams to go against. So you know we're gonna wear you out. We're gonna um, get into your legs, pick you up full court, and then you have to go finish over Ghana and Damien. And so hopefully at some point we can get Jacob to get get a couple blocks as well. So and, um, Lance has been protecting the rim pretty good as well. I think he had a couple blocks today again. So. All those guys are, are, are chipping in. Does that allow you and Kaysen to be a lot more aggressive? Yeah, definitely. Um, I know I, I feel that way. I feel like I can pressure and um, go make it hard, um, be disruptive. Because I know like if I get beat, I got somebody back there who's willing to help me. And um, if they go, I can crack down and get their man. So it, all that stuff, that helps us. You talked what? about the perimeter defense, talked about shot blocking. What about those two guys on the wings hitting those threes? What's that do for the offense? Yeah, that's what they do. I mean, they have the freedom to do that, to make shots, to play confident, um, to be empowered um, by everybody. I mean, we want those guys to be aggressive. Um, and you know, when you make shots, it, you know, it forces the other team to make baskets. And when we're making shots and they're not, their rim continues to get a little smaller. And that's when we can go on our runs and um, and play some pretty fun basketball. Do you think what this did you is learn a pretty good matchup? What did I? What did you learn from sitting out a couple of games together? Did you learn anything from the bench? Um, yeah, I learned that the game is way faster um, than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, I felt a little, 
little out of breath. I haven't felt out of breath in a long time. Um, uh, so when you're actually in the game, the game is so much faster. And um, I appreciate that. You know, I like a fast game where it's high possessions um, and be able to get everybody involved. But uh, the biggest thing I learned is, you know, just continue to learn about my teammates, their tendencies, um, where they like the ball. Um, and, you know, for us to continue to find ways to, to grow closer as a team so we can continue to win. Do you think this was a good matchup to prepare you for Tuesday's game against Michigan State? For sure. Um, I think the first game was the size, you know, of Howard. Um, you know, Michigan State's going to have that. This game was just the scrappiness, you know, never give up, um, continue to fight, be physical. And, you know, those are those are two attributes of those two teams that Michigan State is going to have. And, um, you know, it's good for us. We still got some things to work on um, and clean up to get better um, before we play them because that's going to be a really, really tough game. And, you know, they're a good team, but we're a good team too. You only missed a couple games, but any rust coming in tonight? Nah, I think the only thing was just making sure I get back in game shape. Um, so the next couple days, I think I'm gonna focus on that, make sure I get some reps. But I didn't feel any, I didn't feel rusty at all. Yeah, Kyle kind of threw you under the bus there and said that you had to check yourself out tonight. And you usually don't do yeah, that. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did because I told you I was, I was like, man, I'm a little tired. When, so uh, I did that definitely. When's the last time you remember doing that in a game? Uh, taking myself yeah. out, man. Never, I've never done that. <laughs> never. When you say the game was faster from your perspective on the bench, so what exactly do you mean? Just, it, just no, I forgot. Pace, yeah, I forgot how fast we play. Like, I forgot. Like, you know, in practice, you know, we play one control scrimmage, you know, go up and down rest. You know, uh, when we play pickup, you know, it's kind of no one's really playing real defense. But when we get into game, like, I'm like, yo, yo, we playing fast. Like, this is a fast brand of basketball. And I kind of just had to get used to it again. But it's always fun playing um, with a team that's capable to play that way. Guys making shots, guys playing for each other. And um, guys on one page so we can win. I'm sure you you probably believe that the speed helps benefit your, you all as well. Yeah. That's what and we in what way? How do you think so? How we benefits us? Yeah. Um, playing fast. That's, that's how we play. You know, we practice that way. Um, in summer, in the summer, we prepare that way. We go two on no full court. Um, we run. I mean, that's what we do. So I was playing fast. That not only gets the game to speed up, but we get into people's legs. Um, so when you're making shots the first five minutes of the game, those same shots we were running that hard to be a lot harder in the second half. And um, at some point, one team has to let go of the rope. So we know if we stay the course, keep playing fast, keep playing together, um, it's going to be hard for another team to play that way for a four, full 40-minute game. Talked a lot in the preseason about being more efficient this season. Did you mean just from a shooting perspective, or is that? Everything I think in that's. The game? I think that's everything. Um, I'm not sure what the stats were today, but I feel like I played a pretty clean, efficient game. Um, and you know, that's that's what I'm looking to do: be, you know, keep it clean, keep it efficient, um, and get my guys, get my teammates in spots where they can be successful. So I was just kind of said, you know exactly when you were going to go in, and did the coach just kind of say, we'll see how like, kind of the flow of the game goes? I, I, I didn't, you know. I didn't think I was going to play this much tonight, honestly, um, being my first game back. But um, I, I, got to, I think I text coach, like, I trust you. Whatever you whatever you do, whatever the plan is, I mean, you're the greatest of all time for a reason. Um, you know, I trust in coach and co trust in his plan for us to win games. Did you did your stamina hold up, you think? Yeah, I, I got my minutes. second wing, but second win. But like I said, I said earlier, I, I asked for a sub for sure. It's first time ever, <laughs> last time ever too. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> you just talked about Cal there and how he's the greatest of all time. You text him. What's just what's your relationship like with him now that in year two you've yeah, got, you've I built mean, it now? This is great. It's a great relationship. Um, I feel like I can talk to coach about anything, fast or not. Um, I mean, that's that's a special relationship that I feel like I haven't had, and I'm in a long time. Aside from my dad, obviously him coaching me, but uh, man, it's been it's been great. I mean, he's continue to build. I'm starting to know what he's gonna think, what he's gonna say, how he's thinking. Um, I kind of get to finish the sentences a little bit in practice, um, so it's, it's been great. I mean, I love playing for Coach Cal. What does that mean to a point guard when you have that kind of relationship? I mean, it's great. Um, I mean, you know, he's gonna tell you the truth. He's gonna hold you accountable. He's gonna let you know when it's not it, but he's also gonna praise you when you are doing well. Um, so when you know when you're playing for a guy like that who truly wants what's best for you, and um, when you're at when he wants you to be at your best so you can be at the best for the team and you guys can um, make plays and win, so it's, it's just a dream come true. Are you expecting to be back in the lineup Tuesday, or you are preparing to come off the bench? That's not my job. I'm just prepared to go out there and win, make plays for my teammates so we can win. It's only been one game, but do you feel like you have more offensive weapons this season maybe than last year, especially it's, 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 the Yeah, yeah. Like you said, it's, it's really early in the seasons. It would be unfair um, to compare because 
Um, we had a great year last year. We had great players who did great things. It was just an unfortunate end. Um, but we played really well. We won a lot of games. We didn't lose many games. We beat people by 40, we beat people by 30, we beat really good teams by 30. So uh, it's unfair to compare right now. How much were you watching Tone and CJ um, Monday? A lot. And to, yeah. yeah. And, and and how did that, that prepare you for playing? Yeah, definitely knowing like where they where the spots are. I'm a transition where they like to run, um, where they where they like to get it. Like I know CJ, you know, him on the catch, like right around the three point line. You know what I'm saying? So he doesn't have to take too many dribbles. But if it's one dribble, he's already in the mid range area where he can play. Or Tone, you know, it could be either one. I could throw it to him shorter, or he's right at the line. I could throw it to him um, a little earlier, because as you can see, he can make a play and get to the lane and finish through contact as well. So just picking up on different things like that. I'm um, just watching what they do and how they like it. So Between your ability to offensively. Yeah, because I think I know how to do everything. But, you know, I still need to keep working on it and also playing with confidence. Do you expect to make this kind of impact so soon? I mean, I was expecting it, but... I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But I was expecting it. Duquesne's head coach at this post game earlier said that you were a guy who's going to make a lot of money uh, down the road. Just oh really? When you when you hear someone say something like that, just you know, how, how does that make you feel? What's your reaction? It doesn't change anything. I'm you know I just keep staying focused and I'm working on just working on my craft. You know, in, trying to improve every day. You know. Once it's time to make real money, you know, once the time comes, I'll make the money. But for now, all I'm focused on is improving my game um, offensively and also building my confidence. What about defensively? How do you feel like that? Obviously, you've blocked a lot of shots, but how do you feel like you're playing defensively? Um, I still need to, um, you know, I'm working on um, being more vocal on the court, you know, calling out screens, knowing where to be, you know, helping my t um, teammates. Um, once um, it comes to screen, so I, I, I need to improve in that aspect, being more vocal defensively. Uh, Coach Cal said again that, that you're a guy who he, he never has to sit, he tell he tell you more than once. Yeah, because um, I know what I'm doing. You know, I know why I'm here, so I don't have to wait for him to tell me things to keep repeating things for me. You know, once he tells me what to do, I just, you know, try to work on it. You know, so he don't have to repeat um, himself again. Does he have to repeat things for a lot of the other players? Some players. For some players, he has to. Said it, he was even telling us players, if you go down there, you're gonna, it's going to be coming right back at you. What does your shot block and ability do for the defense? I would say it helps the defense, you know. I feel like I've, I have the ability to stay in the game because of what I do, you know. The fact that I have the team I'm defensively by blocking shots, I think, I don't know, I think it's going to give me more minutes, but I'm still working on other things. I'm just... For now, I'm just playing a role in the team. Doing what I know how to do best to help the team. That's what I'm doing. A media day, you told me when you started practicing. Oh, hi. Yes, hello. You said, you know, it was kind of a rude awakening. You could block everything in high school, mm -hmm. and then you got here playing against these guys, and it wasn't so easy. It seems like it's coming easier to you now. Yeah, the fact that, you know, I said that because I've been playing against um, the same guys, so they know what I do. You know, they know when I'm coming for the block, so they know what to do. But I said this one time, like, I was the best high on shot block in high school, and I think I am in college. Yeah. How good does it feel to find that rhythm and know that you're impacting, I guess, on that end? Um, how, you said, how does it feel? Yeah, how good does it feel? It feel I mean, it feels good doing what I know how to do best, and also, you know, being perfect at it, at, at this level. Because when I, when I first got here, I, I thought, like, it wasn't gonna be this easy for me blocking shots, but I found out that it was, you know, um, the same as it was in high school for me. You know, not much difference. We were just talking.